Israel has achieved a big tactical victory in this operation, the kind of stunning coup you'd read about in a novel. Undoubtedly, it is a disgrace for Hezbollah, which will raise their nervousness and lower their morale. However, Israel faces a potentially major strategic disadvantage since, although humiliating the powerful Lebanese militia and political movement, it fails to discourage them. And it doesn't get any closer to Israel's strategic goal of stopping Hezbollah strikes and letting the more than 60,000 Israelis on the northern border who haven't gone home in nearly a year to return. The Israelis have employed a significant, bold weapon that is plainly highly effective in their context. However, Al Monitor, a respected Middle Eastern newsletter, states that they were unable to use it as intended. According to the initial plan, Israel intended to respond with deadly attacks while Hezbollah was still suffering. According to sources, the pager attack was intended to be the first salvo of a major escalation, maybe as part of an operation or invasion of southern Lebanon. 